This is the Chennai International Airport travel information for arriving passengers. This Chennai International Airport in India is an expanding facility with international and domestic terminals. Did you know that the city of Chennai was formerly called Madras? The old name was officially changed in 1996. Chennai is the capital city of the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It is a mega city of India with an estimated population of 7.1 million people. Chennai is one of our favorite destinations because of the UNESCO heritage sites, temples, beaches, and of course the world famous South Indian food. This episode will cover Chennai International Airport with the airport code MAA for arriving passengers to Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India from our own travel experience. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community and subscribe. Fanakam which means hello in Tamil, which is the local language in the state of Tamil Nadu. This is the Chennai International Airport Travel Guide series for arriving passengers. Chennai Airport, with the airport code MAA, also sometimes known by its former name, Madras Airport, is the fourth busiest in passenger traffic in India behind Delhi, Mumbai, and Bangalore. Chennai International Airport is the main hub for arrivals and departures in southern India. It's located about 9 miles or 14.5 kilometers southwest of the city center in the Minambakam area of the city. We flew domestically from Mumbai into this Chennai International Airport with the code MAA for adventure into this lush city. From the air, Chennai appears tropical and less crowded than Mumbai or Delhi. We arrived on a relatively sunny, clear day. This Chennai International Airport has separate international and domestic terminals which are in the same airport complex area but not next to each other. Terminal 1 is for domestic flights. Terminal 3 and 4 are for international flights which are within the same building complex. The older Terminal 3 is used for international terminal flight arrivals and Terminal 4 is used for international departures. Terminal 2, which is the oldest terminal building, is used as a cargo terminal. Chennai Airport is building two new terminals, T5 and T6, and one satellite terminal, which are currently under construction to fill the demand of the rapidly growing passenger traffic and is scheduled to be completed in 2021. Once we landed, it took a while to taxi to our gate as there is lots of traffic at this airport and the runways are long and busy including a 411 meter long taxiway. There are many flights from all over the world, the majority from within India and internationally from Asia, the Middle East and Europe. As we taxi to our gate, we can see out the window of the plane many cranes because of the construction of the new terminals going on between the domestic and international terminal buildings. Once the plane stopped at our gate, we disembarked our plane on the second level of the airport in Terminal 1 as we were on a domestic flight. If you are an international passenger, then most likely you'll arrive in Terminal 3. Follow the signs for immigration or transfer depending on your situation. If Chennai is your final destination, then after immigration pick up your bags and clear customs. All signs are in Tamil and in English. 
The first impression of the airport was that it was clean, modern, and decorated with local flavor. There were bathrooms in the hallways leading to baggage claim. It's highly recommended that you use these bathrooms before exiting the secure area of the airport. As we walked to baggage claim, we noticed that the airport was nicely decorated with local art and vegetation. Please note that both the Domestic Terminal 1 and the International Terminal 3 are located within the same airport terminal complex area but are not close to each other. In the domestic terminal, that is Terminal 1, we took the escalator down to the ground level where baggage claim and the arrival hall is located. For your information, there is free Wi-Fi in the airport, but it may not work all the time. Tourist Information Desk is located opposite the baggage claim area near the exit doors. There are also smoking and prayer rooms in designated areas throughout the airport. After we got our luggage, we had to look around the arrival hall. There were so many interesting things to see, like the large statue of Nataraja, a depiction of the Hindu god Shiva as the divine dancer at the center of the arrival hall. We also saw a display of the Royal Enfield motorcycle, which we found out has been made in Chennai since 1956 till today. Chennai is the home of the famous Enfield motorcycle. Also located in this area is the visitor information, currency exchange, retail stores, and private and prepaid taxi kiosks. There are several options for getting a taxi to the city center and surrounding areas. Private and prepaid taxi service is available at Chennai Airport and they have a kiosk inside the arrival hall opposite of the baggage claim area before the exit doors. App-based cab services Ola and Uber operate at the airport. At the domestic terminal, the Uber pickup zone is located at pillars 6 through 8 opposite the arrival gate 3. At the international terminal, the Uber pickup zone is besides the Uber kiosk. Ola cabs also have kiosks right outside the exit doors of the arrival hall open to the general public. We purchased a prepaid taxi that is black with a yellow top from inside the arrival hall. This was quick and convenient, but later found out that they do not have air conditioning, which was okay as we were going a short distance at non-peak hours. These taxis are a good and inexpensive option if this is your first time in Chennai and you don't mind not having air conditioning. Please note that your taxi driver may not speak English. Outside the arrival hall, avoid people who approach you for a taxi. This is not recommended. Please use the pre-arranged taxi, private car counters, or rideshare like Ola. If you have data on your cell phone, then another great option is Ola or their Uber app. We highly recommend Ola as it's cheaper and very clean, friendly, efficient, and air conditioned. However, because of its popularity, the lines may be long outside. All taxi kiosks are vetted by the airport, so just check on the price and arrange and pay for a taxi. Once we paid for our taxi, we walked out the arrival hall with our receipt to the taxi pickup area near the parking lot across from the exit of the arrival hall. If this is not your first time in Chennai, don't have much luggage, or you just want to get from the airport to the city center and want an adventure, then consider the new Chennai Metro train, which connects Chennai Airport with Chennai Central on the Blue Line. Trains run from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Another option is the public bus 18A from the bus stop outside the terminal building. However, be aware that it's a bit of a walk which we don't recommend for foreigners visiting for the first time. For schedules for the Metro bus or Metro, please ask at the airport information desk for updated information. We also saw people taking auto rickshaws from the domestic terminal. Once we got into our taxi, we sat back, relaxed, and let the vibe of Chennai immerse us into this tropical South Indian city. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.